<laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to the long dark. It's been a minute. Just trying to warm up by the fire right now. Kind of been dealing with a lot. Oh, man. Just... Oh. Hey. Damn it. Not again. No. The lights. Hey. Easy. Take it easy. Who are you? Name's Mackenzie. I'm the one who saved you from the bear. You kill it? I don't think so. But I hit it. Maybe scared it away. Not <laughs> the way you shoot. Glad your memory's coming back. Shit. He got me good this time. <laughs> this time? Mm. <sighs> yeah. Me and the old bear go back a ways. <laughs> yes. There's unfinished business between us. Looks I bandaged like you it. up, but you're in bad shape. Is there anywhere to get medical help? Of course not, man. Jesus. You mean like a hospital? Out here? Nah. Nothing like that. I see you have a radio. Can we call for help? No. Radio's been dead for the past few days. I can't raise any of the usual channels. I'm not sure why. Well, you'll need some stronger meds to avoid infection. And for the pain. I got those. You some kind of doctor? No. But I've been around doctors enough to know you'll be in trouble soon. Unless you get some better help than I can give you. Yeah. Right. Well... <clears throat> Closest help is probably in Milton. Back the way you came. Uh, there's nobody left to help you there. The town's yeah. pretty much deserted. There was a fire and... Uh... Damn. The next town stays away. I'm right. Ooh. But if you leave now, you might be able to... You won't last days like this. Nope. Must be another way. Bro's been mauled by a bear. There's... There's someone who might help. But we can only reach them by radio. So, we're back to where we started. How are we gonna There's do gotta that? be somewhere nearby that might have medical supplies, or another radio we can use? You might find some comms gear, or parts, in the old Carter Dam. It's probably ancient stuff, though. That place has been abandoned for years. We used to have a first aid room. Might still be some old meds there, too. <laughs> Something strong enough to maybe numb this pain. Dude, I got... Hang in there. I'll be back as soon as I can. I got meds for days. I got antibiotics. I got all sorts of stuff. Wait. Wait. The old bear. He's still out there. Oh, boy. Finish the job. Okay. Can I have your gun? Yeah! Take my rifle. Yes! You Ooh, won't kill him. Yes! But you might scare him off again. I have right. the flare gun. But I'll gladly gotcha. take the rifle. Damn. Unstable. Okay, good to know. Dam is unstable. Wait, what? What do you mean unstable? I think he's I think that statement is pretty clear. Pretty clear. Unstable dam. Be careful around it. Look, man, you're fine. That's not your final breath, old man. Hey. Damn it. He's passed out. No shit. Okay. We get a rifle. Welcome back to the long dark, everybody. We're in it. And, oh my god, we are officially in, I guess, chapter two of... Yeah. Rose hip tea. Wait, huh? I guess I could try. Okay. Well, we are over encumbered, and definitely, if we go to this uh, hunting rifle here, look at this sexy, sexy, sexy thing. 
We're going to take it. Yep. And we're taking boom. And we're taking a boom. And we're taking a boom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Indeed. Starting to weigh me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you complain about it. What's in the locker? Something good. Books, everything. We've got the works. Pork and beans. It's just like Fallout. So I'm just going to inform everybody right now. I am in a way. I have basically eaten myself into a fucking food coma. So I am not doing great. Stomach isn't doing great. But I wanted to record so bad I figured I had to. Ooh. Well, this looks nice. Okay. So hold on one second. We have a lot of weight to drop, and I feel like we can afford to do some of that today. So let's start off as we started off last episode. We st starting off with a session of dropping our carry weight, and the rifle is the heaviest thing we have. Motherfucker. How do we... Uh, there's a way... There is a way to, like, move these. Left trigger. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna cure these deer hides uh, in here because we haven't been able to do that. So let's let's just do that. Trying to drop as much weight as we possibly can, and it's not going great. Oh my god. Oh my god, fellas. We are not doing well on the old front of fucking everything, dude. Uh, spare torch. Drop that on the ground. We've got... Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hold on. We're going to prepare some fucking rose hips. I am so sorry that this is how we're starting today. Like... Uh, I really wish it wasn't. So, yeah. Today is, uh... Definitely not doing great for the old uh, situation here. At least we can sprint. That's still not good enough, though. How the fuck are we this over-encumbered, man? Okay, we have a lot of stuff here on the ground. So we have our spare little boots here. We're going to put our spare boots here right there. This is, this is, uh, this is going to be a little insane. Nope, we want that deer hide to go right there. Just just stay where you are. These salty crackers. These are... Hey, buddy. Buddy. I'm going to be real with you. These are my crackers. You can't have my crackers. They're mine. See, they're brand new. They're brand new. Fresh off the fucking shelf. See this chair? That's where my crackers go. If we're going to be roommates, we got to know our fucking boundaries, dude. So these crackers are fucking mine. You leave them alone. And this coal, this coal is going to go right over here by the fire. You know, and I'm totally, I am totally down with sharing the coal. Hey, don't sass me. Okay, to be fair, I don't think I want to go and organize all of this right here and right now. So let's just keep dropping that weight. Fellas, 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 15 minutes into the recording and with a giant mess on the floor that definitely isn't mine. It's his now. We are finally not encumbered. And we have a funny thing called a fucking gun. And we can reload it. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We've got a fucking gun. Now our adventure into the long dark can finally begin, except for the fact that it is likely being very, very bad outside. So let's take a gander. That trapper's my key to getting out of here. Oh. He'd better not die on me. It's actually not bad. Okay. It's not even cold. Look at that. My temperature is not even going down. So, fun fact. Let's check out where we are. Nope, that's wrong. Can I zoom out? Can I zoom out? No, I can't. So, we are here. We need to go. We need to go this early direction. If I were to walk... Whoops. Don't do that. Okay, well... Everybody, everybody, look at this. Search bin. There's another bullet in here. I'll take that rifle cartridge. Thank you. And we're over encumbered. Well, uh, sorry. I'm putting that fucking away. Okay. So if we move in this early direction here, we're going the opposite direction. It's so windy, yet we're not even cold. 
I wonder if we can thank the love our lovely friend Ski Boot. Uh. Oh, those appeared when they shouldn't have. But we're back in the world of the long dark, and we need to head in this direction. I think so, at least. Yeah, okay. No, this will work. If we head in this direction, it looks like we'll hit, uh, train tracks? It looks like we'll hit some train tracks, and maybe, I think then we head up the train tracks. Oh, we'll figure it out. We'll look at the map as we go. Hello? Anything in here? Anything of importance or of note? Nope. It looks like it's just an empty old shack. Also, by the way, in case I didn't say anything before, last time we completed chapter one. You know, that was really cool. We managed to make our way through the mountain pass and, you know, make something of ourselves. Unfortunately, we had to leave old grade mother behind, but I'm sure that in the end she, oh, motherfucker. In the end, I'm sure she would have been happy to see us go. Well, happy not being the correct term, but uh, content with us leaving. Man, the wind is huge. Jeez, what is happening here? There's so much wind right now, and yet I am not experiencing any temperature drop. I have no idea why that might be, but I'm not going to argue. So FYI, we have something to talk about. I have a gun now. Let's pull that baby out. Nope, let's pull that baby out. This gun right here. Let me just load that one little bullet in there. This gun gives us an extra little option we have not had access to this entire time. And that access is being able to shoot wolves in the dome piece. And by shooting a wolf in the dome piece, it means that we can eat them. There is a problem with that, though. I am not sure if Winter Mute works the same way as Survival Mode does. In Survival Mode, on higher difficulties, Wolf Meat has a chance of giving you parasites. I have no idea if that's how Wolf Meat in Winter Mute works. Oh, and by the way, I am also very proud to say that we have gotten through all of Chapter 1 without a single death. How long is that going to last? I don't know. It's very possible we may... Ooh, there's a shack over here. We're not losing temperature, so might as well check it out. Ooh, but we're going upwind here. So we're going to be moving a lot slower. We'll probably move faster if I put the gun away. I guess not. I guess the gun didn't make much of a difference. So, that's the thing. We're going to have to be a little careful. Ooh, the deadfall area. Okay. We're going to have to be a little careful. Oh, we, we need to make Reshi tea. I think. For the survival challenge thing. So, might as well harvest these up. We're encumbered. I know. I get it. I think this entire playthrough is just going to be us being encumbered the entire time. And I genuinely don't think there's anything I can do about it. Let me turn my microphone down a little bit because it looks like I'm peeking just a slight bit. And I don't want that. Let's pick these rose hips and yeah, okay, okay. Anything in here of importance or no? Oh, look at this. A cooking pot. This stuff will a come in handy. Sturdy pot for melting snow, boiling water, and cooking food. It weighs a pound. Do we need this? We've got the cans, though, for that. Hmm. Let's take it. Let's take the pot and see what we can do with that. If it looks like it's not really going to be Too that much, much... to carry. Oh, shut up. You don't need to fucking say that to me, Mackenzie. I'm the voice in your head, and you are going to listen to me. My voice is your command, motherfucker. Let's see. Are we on the right track? We are not. Good thing I checked the map, because I would have wandered aimlessly into the woods. We don't have unlimited stamina. We do have a fatigue. That's, well, a fatigue. Here's the thing. I have brought my trusty, trusty sleeping bag with me. However, that sleeping bag might not protect us for long, because here's the thing. The one thing we are very, very low on, it seems, is, well, things to burn. Because things to burn are quite heavy. So, if we get caught in the... Okay, I don't know why. That scared the shit out of me. This is beautiful, by the way. I know I've said this quite a lot playing uh, this game in the past. Oh, we've gone a little off course here. We're in the middle of the wilderness. We're lost as shit. Hey, look, a landmark. What's going on over there? 
we could make our way up there and see what we got. Ooh, I see you down there, bitch boy. It's not like you can get to me. Not all dogs go to heaven, because I'm going to send you straight to hell if you come after me. Okay, so if we keep heading in this direction, we will eventually reach the train tracks. But here's the thing. I would like to see what this landmark on the map is. And if we can do that... Hey, there's the train tracks. I was right. They were train tracks. Okay. Ooh, I hear howling. I hear howling. Don't try it, Wolfman. Don't you do it, because I swear to God, I will make you regret it. Do you have any idea how much power I have in my hands now? There is nothing I can't do. Absolutely nothing. I dare you. I see you over there. I fucking dare you. I fucking dare you to come after me. I will blow a hole in the side of both of your heads. Yeah, a sharpshooter, Mackenzie, is not. But we're not going to unless we have to. Because right now we're doing plenty good on food. So we're just going to take it. Ooh. We're just going to take it easy. We're going to check this place out. If it's got some water, we might spend some time here. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll we'll grab what we need from here, and then we'll check out that tower up there. That might be the, the course of action here. Let's harvest some rose sips, because rose sips are always good. Mystery Lake. An interesting game. Is that a wolf down there? Ooh, ice fishing. And two wolves. My favorite combination. All right, let's check out what's going on in here. Oh, wow. Oh, I like this place. This place is quite nice. Ooh, is that a rifle cartridge? Thank you for that. And what do we got here? The frozen angler. An instruction manual on ice fishing. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I'll gladly take that. Catch a fish at a fishing hole. All right, I can try that. Anything in here? Ooh, a Summit Soda. I will take that. Oh, an orange soda. Some soda. Hey, look at that. We're doing fucking fantastic. A workbench. Ooh, a park notice. Here we go. Due to unusually cold weather this year, we're shutting down Mystery Lake Provincial Park a little earlier than usual. Make sure all campers are packed up and ready to bug out by rail truck. Anyone left behind will have to get out on foot. Not a nice prospect. As per the usual procedure, lock up all lake cabins and make sure all provisions are stored in bear-proof containers. And please take the flag down this year. We had to replace it after last winter. The winds just tear it to shreds. After, you fin after you're finished closing down the camp, make sure to check in at the Forestry Service Lookout as requested. Apparently, those guys think someone's been using using their lookout to store hunting gear and drying old animal skins. Man, I don't envy you at that. Uh, uh, man, I don't envy you that backwater. I, what the hold on, man. I don't envy you that backwater posting. The great bear has sure gone downhill since the quakes. Well, you don't need to be a bitch about it. Apparently I couldn't read the last sentence without having a stroke. Oh, I see these salty crackers. Wonder I'm actually this is gonna any munch. Good to eat. It is. We're going to munch on them. Mm, they were very, very salty and make me very, very, very thirsty. Let's have a stale grape soda. Just to, just to wash down those uh, stale crackers. Oh, oh, filing cabinets. Don't fail me now. Show me what. Off. Ooh, a key for one of the cabins. I gladly take that. Sack of newspapers. Go Hope I can still eat this. Jerky. Oh, yeah, we'll still eat it. We'll be fine. Bacteria makes us stronger. Oh, fishing line and fishing tackle and a hook. Oh my god, we got literally all of it. Okay, sorry about that. Hello, first aid kit. What have you got for me? Nothing. Fantastic. Lots of books to burn. Ooh, an extra sewing kit. Hope nobody needs this anymore. You know what? It's barely any weight. We're already reaching five pounds. Damn. Fire log? Ooh, no way. No fucking way, Jose. Ooh! That'll I found that. Handy. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of ammo. Oh, we can go fucking Rambo on their asses. I can kill a total of... Uh... Let's see what we got upstairs, shall we? Anything of importance, because I would like to clear out of this place as soon as possible so I can make my way up to that uh, mysterious tower up on the hill, which is definitely not a fire tower. 
Nothing in the trash can. Anything in the drawers. Any good clothes. I, I'll gladly take good clothes. What have we here? Decent thermal underwear. Let's see if we can actually use that decent thermal underwear. Yes, we can. So, boom. New thermal underwear is always welcome. Some people, like, don't realize just how good thermal underwear is. Trail boots, huh? Ooh, very not good trail boots. We've got beds here, too, which is nice. Anything in here? Crunchy bar, herbal tea. Okay, we are starting to get up there in our thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a lot of text. The Mystery Lake region is an alpine valley at average altitude of 1,200 meters above sea level, named for the large lake that dominates its southern eastern quadrant. The region is fringed by mountains on the west and south, and the foothills of the inner island range to the north and east. The region is bisected by a section of north-south of the north-south line of the Trans Island Railway. The region's main characteristics are its heavily forested and hilly, air, hilly terrain, as well as the abundance of wildlife. The region's high altitude leads to a low average temperatures, as well as some of the coldest nighttime temperatures on Great Bear Island. Heavy snowfalls are common. The Mystery Lake area is a popular summertime destination with campers and hikers, but the area largely shuts down during the winter months due to its inaccessibility. There are no major roads connecting the area to the more populated regions in the adjoining valleys, lower in the mountain chain. So the area is primarily Primarily accessed by dedicated hikers willing to make the long trek that winds along medium to advanced level trails from the nearest town of Rupert's Landing. The region's harsh inaccessibility has been both a blessing and a curse over the years. Until the railway line was blasted through in the 1930s, the rail... Ugh. The area was largely a pristine and untouched wilderness, but the lack of amenities and a st or a standing population made it difficult for any real permanent infrastructure to take root. A project to link the Mystery Lake area with a secondary highway network cri crisscrossing between the various mountain valleys was abandoned due to the geological instability of the steep mountains and cliffs. The highway cliffs, the highway caused landslides that were continuous a continuous threat to the project's viability and the highway project was abandoned after only a few kilometers of roadway had been cleared okay in the 1960s ambitious industrialist richard carter selected the mystery lake area for a new hydroelectric project meant to provide power to a large mining operation in the next valley the lake's continuous replenishment by a vibrant aquifer network as well as a mountain streams that channeled annual spring runoff made Mystery Lake a natural reservoir with untapped hydroelectric potential. Yet other than a small test dam constructed in 1962, this project was abandoned when the region's inaccessibility and seismic instability made it cost prohibitive. To this day, apart from the railway ugh, to this day, apart from the railway line that passes through, the only connection between the Mystery Lake region and the adjoining valleys are the hiking trails that pass through the mountains. These trails often become impassable during the winter winter months due to cold temperatures and heavy snowfall also due to the region's generally uninhab uninhabited nature wildlife have not become habit habituated to the presence of humans which can make them threatening hikers and campers are warned to avoid the area during the winter months as well as to store all food and waste in bear safe containers what a wall of text we just read through but some interesting context into the background of that house that's in the intro. If you guys went and or have seen the Wintermute intro, which I couldn't play for the channel due to copyright, that house does appear in there, which is kind of interesting. I think to I me. can use this. Ooh, decent cargo pants. Are those better than my current cargo pants? Worn? Decent? Okay, look at that. Let's actually go in here and go to our old cargo pants and let's harvest them. Ooh, it's actually getting dark out there. Let's go and do a quick check on the outside here and see how we're doing. It's still not cold. I could try to make my way up there. You know what? Screw it. We're adventurous. We'll take risks. We can do that. We can do it. We still got wolves out there on the ice, and I know I have a mission to do some ice fishing, which we might try to do on the way back. Because we have to make our way to the hydroelectric dam, which is still, I think, in this direction. Let's double check. I wonder why I'm not cold. Why am I not cold? I'm hoping that that's not a bug. And I should be cold, but I'm not. I guess I'm not going to argue for now. It looks very cold out here. Oh, there we go. There goes my temperature. Now it's dropping. Is that a wolf? I don't think that's a wolf. I don't think that's a wolf. Okay. You know what? Let's take a quick 
drink of our potable water. Oh, we don't have a lot of potable water. Ah, there's our problem. There is definitely our current problem right now. Oh, I see a deer over there. Shooting a deer is definitely an option. Although I do want to head up to that tower and see what we got going on up there. That would be quite interesting to get up to. I like this new area. It's kind of like a a straight shot here, but it's it's super cool. Currently, we're heading into the wind, so we are getting slowed down a bit. And perhaps coming out at night was not the greatest idea in the world. Maybe I should have slept through the night. I might come to regret this decision later. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. Can I get up here? You know what? I'm going to try to get up here. Oh, wow. If we get shielded by the wind, it looks like our temperature starts to go up again. We are just apparently really warm. Who would have thunk it? Ooh, I'm wondering if this is the best way to try to make it to the... Oh, we got to be careful. We might, we might get a bruise going up steep hills like this. We've gotten one before. In fact, I think that's the only injury... Uh, in a previous episode that we've actually ever suffered. I, I genuinely think we've only suffered one injury this entire playthrough. And you know what? That's an accomplishment on its own. Like, can you imagine doing a playthrough of this entire thing without even getting injured? Man. Just the thought behind that. Well, it looks like we found some way to get up there. I thought I heard something. I did not. We're being shielded by the by the cliff side here, so our temperature is rising. Apparently, we're just warm as hell, guys. Which, I'm wondering if it's the ski boots. If it's the ski boots, I'm not taking them off. I don't give a shit about a speed debuff. I I genuinely don't. Dusk, so night can't be far behind. Yeah, I know, man. It's I think that's pretty fucking clear. We're checking out this place up here, and we're gonna do some. Uh, fire stuff, and some cooking, and some boiling of some water. Oh, man. I love it. It's like a painting. It's like an elegant painting. I love it. I love every... Every, every time, man. Every time I ever, like, decide to pick up this game. Man. It's jaw-dropping sometimes. Hello, what do we got? Yep, this is definitely a fire watchtower. I have a bad feeling. I'm taking my gun out. Nothing touch me. Don't do it, I swear. Nah, I think we're safe. Oh, that's not sketchy at all. That's not sketchy at all. I'm totally not completely afraid. Eh, it looks pretty stable. And eh, we're good. And eh, we're good. Hey, we made it to the fire watch tower, which is really fucking neato burrito. Dude, you can see everything from up here. I know that's the point of fire watch towers, but man, this is cool. You know, that was definitely something I thought about doing uh, when I was, you know, when I was in college is for a summer doing work at a fire watch tower. Ooh, here we go. Music cutting in. Ah, just a regular door. All right. And we are warm on the inside of this cabin. Okay. A rifle cartridge. Sounds good to me. Accelerant. Some more matches. We're starting to get up there in our carry weight, so we got to start being careful. Another sewing kit. Not sure we'll need that, but you know what? Let's wonder if this is any good to eat. Some stale beef jerky. Let's eat some of that up. All right. All right. Oh, illegible note. The text on this note is largely unreadable. If this message was meant for someone, hopefully they were able to decipher it. Fortunately, there are a handful of un of recognizable landmarks and a bold arrow pointing to a large X. Okay. So we've got more food in here. <sighs> okay. So let's start a fire. Let's just get this started. Use a book. Start this fire. We're going to do some much needed water boiling. And 
Other than that, we're going to do some cooking. And honestly, I think the water boiling is all we really need to do. So we don't need to worry about it too much. You know what? I think 54 minutes will be plenty of time to boil some water. No, actually, we're going to try the we're going to try the the cooking pot. Boom. Oh, that's going to take an hour to melt. Okay, so we need more. There we go. Perfect. So, for an hour, what can we accomplish in an hour? Let's see. Oh, we can prepare some rushy mushrooms. You know what? Let's do that. Just a little bit of that. Ooh, we can make some fishing tackle. Let's do that. Let's make some fishing tackle. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Uh, dude, we're fine. Calm down. You know what? Let's drink a... Let's drink a... Let's have our grape soda. Yeah, we've got plenty to drink. You're being worried about nothing. How, what a peaceful place. Man. Ooh. I noticed that just a minute ago. In the low light, we've got ourselves a first aid kit. Could end up being useful. Antibiotics and painkillers, man. Perfect. Oh, perfect, perfect. Pork and beans right there. All right, let's keep on going here. Okay. So it looks like we're good to go on that. An hour until boiled, huh? I guess we could wait that long. Oh, it's paused because we... Oh, no. Oh, no. That was dumb of me. That was not smart of me. Definitely not smart. Come on. Come on. Shoot. Okay. Don't worry. We've got these. All right. We've got some extra books to burn here. So I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I want to try to use the sticks because the books have a better chance of lighting a fire than the sticks do. And because of that, if we need to in a pinch while we're stuck outside, that'll be definitely helpful. All right. Only five minutes, so we're going to need to add fuel to that quick. Let's add a thing of cedar firewood. Ooh, the wind got bad out there. Okay. That's something. Just boiling water, guys. Just boiling some boiling some water. Okay. I think with that, we should definitely drink some of this huge amount of potted water we have now. Potable water. And it's time for us to sleep the night away. Let's go for a good, solid eight hours of sleep and see what we got going on in the morning. Well, it's dark. It's quite scary looking. Well, it's a decent time. We should probably get cooking. Daytime is quickly approaching. Let's light another fire and see what we can do. Beautiful music. Sorry, I've, I've left it here because it's just... Come on. Come on. When the music starts, it's just such a surreal moment. Such a surreal experience that I just... I can't... can't describe sometimes, you know? Can't be beat sometimes. Can't be beat. I'm just going to drink some of this Reshi tea. Got a warming up benefit and everything. We got to get some of this done today. Mainly because we are... I'm going to break this chair down. For some more firewood. Maybe this bench too. Got to wait for the light to come out just a little bit. Because what I really want to do is before we head out... 
I would absolutely love to make some coffee. Oh god, wait a minute. Whoops. I guess... Drink. I just made it in the big pot, didn't I? I mean, I guess it didn't make a, make a difference. Okay. Alright. That worked out. Let's drink some of that coffee. We still have a lot of potable water. Drink a coffee and have a soda. Fill us up. Okay. And some food. What shall we eat? What shall we eat? You know what? Some new beef jerky. I think we deserve some of that. It's going to undo some of the soda work. That's okay. Let's check how we fare with the weather. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Wonderful. But you know what? With that... Whoops! Thank you, everybody, so much for watching this episode of The Long Dark Winter Mute. It has been a blast playing this game. Oop, and a whetstone. We're going to need that. This anymore. Thanks again, everybody. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like and will... Well, leaving a like will go a long way to helping me out. And subscribe if you want to see more. I haven't said that before in an outro. It feels weird. But, again, thanks, guys. See you next time. Take care.